About the Jacksonville mayor's budget, we've learned public safety is at the top of Mayor Lenny Curry's list for next year's budget. The mayor plans to add more police officers and firefighters and invest millions of dollars into the two departments. And First Coast News Clark Foyker joins us now with a closer look at the mayor's proposal. Clark. Heather Anthony, more than $260 million this year that the mayor has not had in previous years when he's made his budget. Most of those, those monies will directly impact folks right here along Bay Street in downtown Jacksonville. They'll address buildings like the one behind me, the old Duval County Courthouse, which has been sitting vacant for months. Vacant eyesores with river views on the North Bank will be torn down thanks to an allocation in this year's city budget. Mayor Lenny Curry says it's crucial for downtown to get those properties ready for redevelopment. You cannot be a suburb of nowhere. If we are going to attract private dollars downtown, we must pre prepare downtown for private investment. Curry wants a million dollars to upgrade downtown landscaping and lighting. He also wants eight million to complete reconstruction of Liberty Street the waterfront roadway that fell into the St. John's in 2015. This is the largest financial commitment to capital projects we've seen from Mayor Lenny Curry, and he says that's because of what voters did last fall when they passed pension reform. He says it freed up $69 million he was able to use when he developed his budget at City Hall. The mayor's budget calls for 100 new officers at JSO and 42 new firefighters at JFRD. In conjunction, a new Safer Neighborhoods initiative will support the departments with state-of-the-art equipment. Fire mobile data terminals, fire bunker gear to bring it to new standards, JSO equipment and various other small capital equipment for fire and rescue. The initiative also renovates some city pools so young children can take swimming lessons. Curry estimates 12,000 kids can learn to swim in the next three years. What more change to the mayor's budget post Hurricane Matthew? He says he wants more money in the city's emergency preparedness fund. Right now, that fund is 5% of the city's total budget. Curry says over the next three years, he wants to get it to 8%. And in his budget this year, says he'll be able to bring it up to six. Live downtown, I'm Clark Fouracre, First Coast News.